Hi gentlemen, welcome back. Today we continue with the permanent magnet motors or magnetic motors, yeah, for short. So this time, uh, this image over here, it presents Steven Kundel permanent magnet motor or magnet motor for short. And it's really interesting design, you can see already from the image. So not to waste any time, let's get immediately to the drawings and see how it looks like. Alright gentlemen, so let's try to describe this magnetic motor. As in any other motor, I will start describing from the stator and then go to the rotor of the magnetic motor to see how it's supposed to work. Alright, so if I select this outside, plus this and plus this, it, that would be our stator and of course on the bottom this is a support for magnetic motor. Now I will hide this outside housing that we are much more easier to follow what's going on inside. Alright, so if I turn this a little bit, this around, you can see that this stator will be, uh, this rotor will be mounted on this stator, yeah? I selected from the beginning, yeah? through this shaft, this yellow shaft over here, yeah? so this will be in the air, rotor will be in the air on this shaft, and on this side is of course a bearing, yeah? so that's it, yeah? so that would be the um, rotor which is mounted on the stator through this shaft. Okay, if now, if now, if now I select this, uh, this rotor, so you can see uh, from the first side there is only four permanent magnets specifically positioned inside of this uh, rotor. And this green part would be, uh, will, will be our ring for that we know the position of this rotor. So we will see how we control uh, this uh, magnetic field th with the help of this ring and the photo transistor. Yeah, so you will see later. Okay, that would be our rotor, which is very, very simple, if you ask me. Only four permanent magnets. All right. So you can see that was the rotor. So now I will select the stator part. Yeah. So the stator. Okay. Now this is the stator. So uh, this is of course mounted on the housing and on the supports. And now you can see this yellow yellow part over here represents this uh, phototransistor which will uh, control the position of the motor uh, through this green ring we see we saw before. Yeah? And this magic component over here will be actually what will enable this motor to work. This will be our solenoid magnet or the electromagnet. Yeah? And of course we will need outside source so DC current to control the solenoid and now we will see what we will control with this let's say uh, electromagnet okay if I now uh, leave this out I can now hide also the rotor yeah, for the first thing yeah, the rotor and then we see that we have uh, on this um, last thing here on the stator is this is this uh, last magnet which is in the in the middle of the rotor yeah? so this magnet is positioned somewhere in the middle of the rotor this on the top is the steel piece of steel which will be controlled by electromagnet so basically when we energize the electromagnet it will go up and down depending on the the, the uh, direction of current we lead into the coil yeah, so that's basically it. So now if you unhide and, un and hide again uh, housing, so you can now understand. So basically this, this, and if I select this, yeah, you can see that this, uh, uh, now it's not transparent, sorry. So this will move up and down inside of the rotor. Yeah? And, and with this action, will uh, enable this rotor to spin depending on the position how, how it will come to these permanent magnets on the rotor yeah? so that's the that's the key here so this magnet on the shaft in the middle will come uh, down or up and with this approach it will uh, enable a magnetic motor or a rotor of magnetic motor to spin yeah? with small energy needed through this solenoid and external battery to, to power this, um, let's say this uh, this shaft with this one permanent magnet in the middle to go up and down, and that that's it. So that, that's the complete explanation of Steven Kundel magnetic motor. Yeah. So we need an external power source, like in many other magnetic motors. 
and this is like a pulse control motor and uh, yeah you can see that there is uh, on, on this side there is this cut yeah so this on the stator over here you can see that there is a cut uh, where this opto opto sensor or photo sensor can can control the position of the uh, rotor yeah, through this ring yeah there's some kind of smaller things are missing maybe here but that's the basically idea how this should work yeah? and that's yeah that's it that's the whole explanation now on this main shaft we were we would of course connect our generator and we would have our free energy on the generator and this is it all right, gentlemen, so that was a Steven Kundel permanent magnet motor or magnetic motor. You see, it's very interesting. So he uses this solenoid on the st which is mounted on the stator to control this, uh, let's say, middle rod on which is one permanent magnet in the middle, which goes up and down or left and right, depending on the design of the motor. And um, yeah, basically that's it. Yeah. So this, uh, this uh, uh, ma magnet in the middle will go down and up and move this permanent magnets which are mounted on the rotor yeah? so I think this should be very precisely defined and all the measures should be known for this to work but Stephen Kuno has very interesting idea also there is a much more simpler explanation down in the description below you can find the, the pattern drawings and there is a more complicated version but I think it's more easier to understand it but this one I designed it which is on the end of the patent is basically more uh, appropriate for the commercial purpose so that would be it yeah so gentlemen thank you very much for being on my channel so until next video just wait bye bye